Okay, so in this problem, they want us to find the sum of 4x cubed plus 6x squared plus 2x minus 3 and 3x to the third plus 3x squared minus 5x minus 5. Now this problem seems intimidating, of course, but well, we're just really adding, right? The sum means to add this polynomial, this first long polynomial, with the second one. That ends up being not so bad because all you have to do is line up like terms. So what I mean by that is I'm going to add 4x to the third with 3x to the third. And they're like terms because their variables have the same exponents. So we can add them. And 4x to the thirds plus 3x to the thirds is 7x to the thirds. And already by trying that first combination, we can cross out 4. Because notice it says 7x to the sixth. But we know the first term needs to be 7x to the third. So we're almost done. Now the next thing I would add is 6x squared and 3x squared, because those are like terms. So 6x squared plus 3x squared, and that gives us 9x squared. And I see, well, these two choices right here, 1 and 2, both have 3x squared, but we need to have 9x squared. So even, and this is what's so nice about multiple choice, at least from the perspective of the student, because we can pick three here right away before even solving the rest. It's the only one that still qualifies as a possible answer because it's the only one left with 9x squared, which we said right here, right? We need to get that because we add these two like terms and that's what we would get. Um, but just to check, let's keep going. What if I kept going? Well, I would add 2x and negative 5x. So 2x minus 5x, same thing there. That's negative 3x, and this does have that. And last but not least, we have negative 3 and negative 5. Negative 3, right, plus, because we're adding negative 5, is negative 8. Or, in this case, minus 8. So here, the answer is C. Hope that helped.